up guys we're going to take a quick look at the um, biostar a681 350 now this is based on uh, the amd fusion line it's actually the amd a68 chipset and on board we have a dual core 1.6 gigahertz um, amd cpu you cannot remove that it's a system on chip and the heatsink is already installed so that's all you need to do just just get it and go and the reason i want to talk about this is because i found this thing for like 40 bucks it was like 39 dollars after like some mail-in rebates i've seen it for different prices online, but I found it in a box, you know, like a big box store. I'm not allowed to say the name because someone might try to sue me and I'd have to punch them in the eye. But uh, this is what we have right here. And um, it's, it's pretty loaded. You can do a lot with it. Let me give you some ideas of what you could do with something like this. You add some RAM, you add a hard drive, you have a living room PC that can play ROMs, that can watch movies. Uh, you can install Xbox Media Center on this. Um, you can install, what else could you install on this? Max, um, install Linux on this thing. There's a lot you could do with it. You could turn it into a little gaming machine. You could turn it into something to just watch movies on. So, like a little HD streaming box. You could even turn this into a NAS, but I probably wouldn't recommend it for that. It's got a little bit too much power, and it does have the graphics on board, and you can play a lot of indie games with this. I've actually been able to play quite a few indie games with this APU, and if you want to, you can add your own 16-speed PCI Express card. Um, bear in mind that this is sort of a slow cpu so if you get like a gtx 680 don't whine and complain that it doesn't run as fast as you know like if you're running a 3770k or something like that or an amd 8350 it's not going to run that fast you're going to have a few bottlenecks there but it's going to be quite nice let's just go over the specs and features of this board and then we're going to come up with a project i'm not sure if we're going to make a little media box or a rom box or a nas i don't think we're going to make a nas out of this one right nope. no PC. little suitcase pc we're gonna have some fun with it uh but before we do that, I wanted to give you guys a quick overview of this. So let's take a look at what we have here. So in the center there, there's your um, 1.6 gigahertz AMD dual core. And that's nice. We have a power connector there. It's a little four pin power connector. So that'll use half of what a lot of the power supplies have. A lot of the smaller ones have the four pin power connector, a lot of the small power supplies. Then we have our two memory slots. Uh, this will support uh, 800 megahertz and 1066 megahertz. DDR3, if you try to run something else in there, it'll downclock itself to that. So if you have 1333 megahertz memory, it's going to downclock. A lot of times you can find that for pretty cheap. Uh, moving on around here, we have our 24-pin uh, power connector. That is a uh, printer port, which is kind of ridiculous. can't believe there's a printer port on this thing, Max. But right behind the printer port, there's also a serial port. So you can use this as a terminal. You know, you could use this as a router. And you could put like some extra NIC. You, you've got a PCI Express there. You could get like one of the Intel four port NICs, put that in there and use it as a router. Why not? Uh, moving on around, we have three um, SATA ports and those are all six gigabit per second SATA. Intel, learn from AMD. Even on their tiny ITX APU stuff, they have three six gigabit per second SATA ports. That's pretty epic. There's your 16 speed PCI Express slot there. Uh, behind that, we have two USB uh, front panel connectors. We have a bunch of fan things everywhere. There's some heat sinks over there. There's just a lot of fun stuff going on. And then right there behind the audio, we have another uh, USB connector. You can use it for the front panel and the back panel. So just the board itself supports six additional USB 2.0. Um, that's pretty crazy. Let's look at the back. First thing you'll see is we have three-channel audio. We do have full surround sound through the HDMI only. Uh, we have gigabit Ethernet, two USB 2 there, uh, two USB 3 beside that, VGA, HDMI with full surround sound. And then we have PS2 for your mouse and your keyboard. So this thing's kind of loaded. Um, I want to know, you know, some ideas. What, what's the crazy stuff that you guys would like to see us do with this? We can play with this thing, make some tutorials. Uh, we've already done a PFSense video, so I don't think we'll use it for a PFSense video or anything like that. But... Xbox, uh, XBMC might be a really fun video to make, I'm we thinking. Do, uh, I'm trying to remember the name of the front end, but there's an arcade-style front end that loads into oh, Windows. Yeah. And it's it, kind of, is it kind of like MAME? That yeah, it's uses? like a MAME cade, and it's actually based off an old-style thing that uh, Quantum PC or Quantum 3D did a while back. You, you may need a graphics card for some of the more intense games, but a lot of the older stuff like Super Nintendo and some of the old arcade games will run just fine on this, even some of the Neo Geo and CPS2 games. The front that I'm thinking of that runs like uh, like uh, Quantum K that will actually let you run any emulator. You tell you tell what emulator is where and where the ROMs are, oh, and, it just, and it makes a huge list for you. Like You just have to create the front end. Oh, that's nice. You just have to upload like the images and stuff for them. It's a slick, slick front end, and it replaces your shell. We're just thinking out loud here, guys, so if you're just joining us, you're live... Hey, Harry Carey here. Give us here. More, more ideas, because I just think arcade 
Arcade. Let's, let's put this 2400 megahertz RAM in it and see if it catches fire. Hold on. Sorry, we've been watching too much Harry Carey, guys. Uh, if you guys have any questions, inbox at techsyndicate.com. But for now, I wanted to just show you what we had to play with. Let you guys take a full tour of it. Maybe salivate a little bit. Easy to fap to, isn't it? Yes, it is. I'll see you guys next time.